And that is where we find News 5's Meg Shaw for us this morning. Meg, you have learned new information from the suspect's family. Yeah, Nick, I spoke with the suspect's sister just a short time ago. She tells me her brother, 45-year-old Jim Wong, has died. She says he passed away almost immediately after being shot by police. Now, she said they did try to perform CPR before he was transported to the hospital, but it was too late. Now, this terrifying scene all happened at her house on Independence Place around 7 o'clock. Wong's sister, Julia, says she asked the North Royalton Police to serve her brother a probate order. She tells me he had a history of mental illness and she wanted to help him. Julia says when she and the police came to the door, one got scared, ran upstairs, grabbed a knife and stabbed one of the officers in the face and leg. Seconds later, that officer's partner pulled his gun and shot him. Julia tells me she asked the officers to speak with her brother first, but that didn't happen. She believes this could have all been prevented. Very heartbroken. And uh, it just feel very unexpected tragedy. If, if they let me go talk to him, and probably would not happen, the police would not get hurt and he would not be dead. Now, that officer who was stabbed, he did go to the hospital for his injuries. They tell me those injuries are serious, but he is expected to live. So far, we don't know either names of the officers involved. They do have a call into the police. We'll keep you updated on what happens. Live in North Royalton, Meg Shaw, News 5.